Hello, welcome back to the channel. Sorry about the good hook'em. Uh, today will be the Texas video. Um, Texas, now their schedule has not been released at the moment because the Big 12 is an absolute mess next year because Texas and Oklahoma will still be in the Big 12 while they're bringing in BYU, Houston, Cincinnati, and UCF. Now, that's going to be a pretty interesting conference. Um, I imagine there'll be a few games they won't have. There'll be a few protected people they're going to have, but it, it's going to be probably, I think, one year, I believe, is what it is going to be. Um, I as of now, I think Texas and Oklahoma are going to the SEC next year. Next year being 2024, not 2023. For this is what we have here. Their schedule so far is against Wyoming, Rice, and Alabama. So we only can talk about that. But at Alabama, we pretty much, you know, the biggest game of their season. It'll be the uh, the annual Texas is back moment. If they beat Alabama, Texas is in fact back. Even though the title of this video will be Texas is back or how Texas will get back, something like that. But yes, Texas comes in with the third highest recruiting class in the country. They're obviously led by Arch Manning. Arch Manning being the uh, son of Cooper Manning, not the uh, obviously known uh, Peyton Manning or Eli Manning, but he's part of the family. Uh, those are these uncles. Uh, Anthony Hill is a linebacker coming in five-star as well. Five-star running back Cedric Baxter Jr. out of Edgewater in Florida and Orlando. Uh, John Tay Cook, the second, another five-star receiver coming in. Um, so they got big skill positions coming in. Obviously, they're losing B. John Robinson, big there. Uh, DeAndre Coburn, I believe, as well, is a nose tackle. We going in the first two rounds. That's pretty much your only main guys you're losing. Uh, you're bringing back Xavier Worthy. Quinn Ewers is there, too. So Arch Manning versus Ewers is going to be a hell of a game. Um, actually, on the schedule, the uh, orange-white spring game is Saturday, April 15th, in case you're interested in that, because it'll be one of the best quarterback battles we're talking about. I know I made a few videos talking about, hey, there's be some cool quarterback battles. Totally fired about Texas. You have the best, uh, the highest ranked quarterback like of all time, Quinn Ewers, and then you have Arch Manning, who's the number one recruit in class, uh, according to 24-7 here. Uh, on three says Nico Amalavea. Amalavea, I'm going to have to work on that, but that's what it is right now. But Texas brings in a ton of recruits, and more importantly, they have a bunch of five and four stars from Texas, so they're winning the in-state battle. This will be their last Big 12 class before going into the SEC. So if they want to win a Big 12 championship, this is probably one of their best years to win, obviously, the Big 12 championship, but to get into the playoff, right, before you have to go battle the SEC. You only have to play one SEC team this year, schedule as of now. Uh, you might have to play another one in the playoff if you get there, but if we even get there, the world might end because you'll see a lot of this going around instead of a lot of this. Spend a lot of horns down for a long time. I don't want to get, you know, I might have to blur this out and not get demonetized or suspended by the uh, NCAA, but uh, it's a lot of horns up this year, hopefully. They're really close to beating Alabama last year. Obviously, Hudson Card was the quarterback after Quinn Ewers got injured, so his shoulder. But they really were a good team. They played pretty well. Injuries weren't the greatest. They had a generational talent in uh, Bijan Robinson running back. But if you can replace him with Cedric Baxter, and more importantly, either Arch Manning is an upgrade on Ewers, or Ewers is going to get better in the offseason, a full year with Sarkeesian, you know, they could really make some noise. Um, and I think the uh, there'll be a little bit of a down Big 12, as TCU is going to lose a lot of the guys. They had a lot of, uh, not like Vikings in them, like, you know, how they won a lot of one-score games and they kind of were like this hypno-toed what's going on magic, but it kind of is a part of that. So I think they'll obviously take a little bit of a step back. Uh, Kansas kind of had a crazy year. Kansas State loses Deuce Vaughn, a few other pieces. So there's a little bit down year in the Big 12. Um, I think Texas Tech will be really good this year. Obviously, Houston and Cincinnati coming in, some powerhouses in the American. Dana Holgerson would love to, you know, get a piece of Texas while they are. And I think they'll have a tech target on their back, Texas and Oklahoma, right? It's going to be like, hey, you guys are leaving. You know, we're going to really kick you on the way out, you know. Be the last time we play you for a while, some of these teams. So it's like, hey, let's 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 have at you. Kind of like a, it was, you know, the last game with Texas A&M in Texas. So I will do a little bit of a shorter video. We can get more into it later, um, some takeaways, some spring ball or something once we see some more information. But just wanted to get a little video out there. I saw the uh, Texas shirt I had. It's a little old. You can see it's kind of a little bit breaking up a bit. But... You know, I got a lot of family in Texas. Uh, my cousins are were some big Texas fans, and my littler cousins are uh, a bunch of Hook'em fans too. So it's exciting to see that uh, they get a little bit of buzz around the program, and I really want to see Texas be good again when Michigan plays them. I believe it's in like two years. Um, Michigan will be playing them in 2024. So uh, hopefully I'll be at that game. That would be a hell of a game to be at. Hook them to all you that uh, support. Horns down to those of you that think I'm crazy. You know, hit the uh, horns up button. Thumbs up if you like the video. Horns down video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. I appreciate the support as always. Thank you for taking time out of your day and watching this video or listening to it. Do whatever you're doing. And have a great day. Thank you so much. See ya. Peace.